I'm going to talk about how to add multiple recordings on a single page in on a Seesaw template. Notice that I have my source set up and I'm ready for my recordings, but I also have a second page over here with just an audio icon on it. You're going to see why in just a minute and know that I'll go back at the end and delete this page when I'm finished. So I'm going to re I'm going to create a recording right now. Rug. Now notice that it actually made a copy of the whole page with the recording on it. So I'm going to take this and make it smaller and I'm going to copy it with a command C. I'm going to go over to my sort page and I'm going to command V to paste it and I can put this over by rug. <clears throat> so the students can click it when they're ready to hear what it is. I'm going to go back to my recording. I'm going to delete this because remember it takes a picture of the whole page so we don't want two icons on the next image. We just want the one. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make another recording. Bug. And there's my image. Okay, I'm going to command C to copy. I'm going to go back to my sort, command V. Oh, I made it really big. I can make it smaller. Notice that it does have the white background on it. And when I put that up next to that, it can cover it. So I can click on the bug and click the three dots in order and bring it to the front so that it covers up that. But also notice that when I move that bug, the other icon doesn't go with it. And Seesaw doesn't yet allow you to group objects together. So another way I can do this is I can copy one of my images, Command C. I'm just going to add another page here for convenience sake and Command V to paste it. I'm going to make it bigger. And I'm going to record this one. Cat. So I can also have an image with the recording right in the middle of it. So I'm going to command C, take it back to my sort, command V. And I can use this image instead of the one without the recording so that when my students move the image, it'll go with them. But notice it does have that white background. I haven't figured out a way to get rid of that quite yet. Um, but there's two different ways that you can do that. Choose which one's best for you. And now you know how to make multiple recordings on a single Seesaw um, template page. And remember to go back to these pages that you don't need that you just used and delete those so your students aren't confused about why you have those pages on there. Let me or any of your other tech coaches know if you have any questions about this. Thank you. Right.